All right, Ben, I know you're gonna like this. Check out the pollen count. Low, low. low. Woof. It's the first time since the beginning of pollen season that we have seen tree pollen at low. So thank you trees for relaxing a little bit. All right, so a lot of people are writing in and going, yeah, but I'm still sneezing. What's going on? Of course, it all depends on what you're allergic to. If you're allergic to, say, mold spores, well, low tree pollen doesn't really help you at all. You're still probably feeling some symptoms, and every person is different. Today, a lot cooler and less humid than it has been the last five days or so, because that was the length of our first heat wave of the season. 81 the high temperature today, the average for this time of year, uh, right there right in step with where we are. The record high temperature, 98, that was set back in 2008. And probably the question on everyone's mind is, how long is this going to stick around? Well, it's actually going to be just a little bit cooler. I don't want to say cooler because, I mean, we're still going to be right on par with the average in the next couple of days or so. Uh, but again, we're not going back to the heat or the humidity as we head through this weekend. Low temperatures or current temperatures, I should say, are in the upper 70s to low 80s for most of the state. And instead of dealing with showers and thunderstorms on the radar, like we've seen in place the last couple of days, we're getting a break. We're getting a pass. Showers and storms and flash flood alerts in effect to the south and west of us but not an issue for us here locally. Low temperatures tonight dropping back into the 50s. I mean, this is going to be beautiful for you tonight. Open up the windows, put the refresh button on your home. And if it's been really warm and really stuffy, this will really help you kind of reset things. Then heading through the day tomorrow, it looks really nice. Partly cloudy skies with high temperatures climbing into the middle to upper 70s and a light northeast wind at about three to six miles per hour. So here's what it looks like as we step through your Friday morning temperature starting off in the 50s heading into the afternoon. We're in the 60s to right around 70 degrees. And again, we'll see high temperatures in the lower to middle 70s. Then heading into your Saturday. All right, don't let this alarm you. This is early Saturday morning. There is a chance for a light sprinkle or a shower. This is 6 a.m. It should be almost all gone by 8 or 9, and that's it. But I do think we see clouds to start off the day on Saturday, followed by more sunshine in the afternoon. And then high temperatures will be a little bit lower because we're expecting more cloud cover, especially for the first half of the day. Highs in the low 70s. And then most of Sunday is dry, but there is a chance for a late day or evening shower or thunderstorm. And some of those showers will linger into part of your Monday. So we're talking about high temperatures on your Sunday. A little bit warmer than Saturday with more sunshine climbing into the low to mid 70s. Your seven day forecast shows another chance for a shower, a thunderstorm in the afternoon on Tuesday, but 70s here in the forecast straight across the board and uh, no 90s to be seen guys.